get them or at least try the active noise canceling performance. It is surreal. Bottom line is if you're looking for noise canceling headphones in general, in a premium sort of $300 price range, you should have these on your short. I think for your everyday listening, um, maybe if you're a super big music enthusiast, yes. Maybe if you want some really good noise cancellation headphones, if you're traveling a lot, yes. Or from home, yes. I see these as an investment in my financial success because if I can access deeper levels of focus, I can distract it at home. Are the Sony WH-1000XM4s worth it? Yeah, absolutely. I think if you have $350 and you're in the market for a pair of noise canceling headphones, these should be at the top of your list. And they are the best noise canceling headphones I have ever used, hands down. If you've got a bit of money to spend on headphones and you don't mind spending north of 250, 300 pounds or dollars on a pair of headphones, get them. They're absolutely brilliant. <music> Now, if I were to recommend these, it's not for those looking for fidelity or finesse, but raw booty basement bass. It's loud, it's in your face, it complements pop, hip hop, and EDM really well. All of the bass somehow doesn't ruin the mid range, in my opinion. Just know you're buying bass, bass, and amazing deep bass. And I am no expert on headphones by any stretch, but I do know a good pair of headphones when I see one. And the Skull Candy ANC knocked it out of the park. Love them. They are definitely being added to my collection. Oh, snap. couch they don't get dislodged they don't lose their sound quality you can do the ambient sound while it's plugged in or not it's it's just it's an all-around fantastic experience this is a 10 out of 10 price point is the biggest it's so good has premium quality sound um, across all genres i didn't find a genre that i did not like this with and again vocals the clarity, the crispness, and the punchiness of the bass. This is like the perfect sound signature. The JPL Live 500 BT is gonna be a great option for those of you that need a portable headphone that's versatile, that you can sort of customize to the sound signature that you kind of like because of that EQ. And also for those that want kind of more of a minimal, uh, more compact style headphone. That
that said, if you find these comfortable and you're okay with that $300 price, I think the Solo Pros are pretty much the best Beats headphones ever. Now jumping into bass and seriously being uh, neutral and fair here, Beats over the years have been refining their audio and the bass has cleaned up quite a bit. In the audio samples, you can hear that the Solo Pros are more of a bass boosted audio signature now without sounding muddy or distorted. Still slightly bass heavy, great for the likes of R&B and hip hop, etc. But the highs are crisp and clear. And also I've tried a wide variety of music genres on these and no complaints at all. They really have done a very good job with the sound. No complaints either with the call quality and due to the ANC, I actually prefer to take calls whilst using them than without. 